This video will show you how you can migrate your emails from one cPanel, which is your old cPanel, to a new cPanel. Okay? So this is my new cPanel, and I don't have emails inside. So when you go to email accounts, you see it's empty. But on my OC panel, I have my emails. I want to migrate everything here to my new C panel without losing any of my emails or my messages. Okay. So if you want to learn how to do that, stick around. First, log into your old C panel. Okay. This is my old C panel. The C panel with your emails. So go to your old C panel. Now go to file manager. Go to file manager. Open file manager. Navigate to you see this file. Right click and compress it. Click here and leave it as mail.zip and click on compress file. Close. Now I'll go to download that zip. So scroll down and this is it. We're going to download it. So click here to download. So wait patiently for it to get downloaded. This is my third time downloading this file. That's why there's this number there. But don't worry. It's still going to work fine for us. We have successfully downloaded that. Click on cPanel logo. And type backup. Because we want to also uh, migrate any forwarders. So just click on backup wizard. And click on backup. Now come here, email forwarders. Click on your domain. We've successfully downloaded that. If you have subdomain names, okay, you see that here. So I assume you have subdomains. So click on your subdomain. And we have that downloaded as well. Good. So we're done with the backup aspect. Let's now go to our new cPanel. So I'm taking you to our new cPanel. Go to file manager. So go to file manager and click on file manager. Let's locate this file and delete it. So delete it. We are deleting it. We want to upload the one we downloaded. So click on upload and click here. And this is the one. So I'll pick it. Wait patiently for it to upload. Uploaded successfully. We'll click on this link to return to our home. Great. Let's locate that zip file, which is here. Right click and extract. Extract files and close. Now we have it here. Okay. You should have it back. Next, we want to go to, so just click on your cPanel logo. We want to upload or restore any forwarders. So I type backup and click on backup. And this time we're going to restore forwarders. Click here and pick your forwarders. So this is my forwarder. 
aliases click and click on upload take note your domain name inside your new cpanel should be the same domain name inside your old cpanel if not it's, good, it's not going to work so you should have matching domain names the same domain name inside your old and new cpanel before we can upload any aliases or alias for or our folders for a subdomain something like this something like this learn dot our domain name we must have that subdomain created if not it's not going to work okay upload and you get an error the backup for this domain name not owned by the current account so you should have that subdomain called learn dot your domain name dot com or your subdomain let's create that quickly by simply typing domain and click on domains we are going to create our learn or subdomain which is learn like this and then we'll click on submit after that go back to backup again click on backup wizard restore forwarders and we're going to pick our land so let me navigate or pick it and then i'm going to upload and this time it should work and it has worked because this domain now exists so now that we are done with that let's check our emails so i click on tools and click on email accounts the final step we have to do here is we have to create our email ids so go to your oc panel and we're going to create these ids so create these IDs for our email or our messages to get restored. It's a requirement. So the way we do that is we click and click on create and I'll put hi because I have an ID called hi and then create. The next ID is, so I'll click and create my next ID, which is admin. So admin. Paste. Create. We have hello. we have support create and we have tech create good this way your emails will be restored so when you open you should see your emails i created these emails for the tutorial purposes because of that you see duplicates right so you see that this one this is the first one that was there okay the one that was there today is february 14th 2020 what five but this email was created on when 2024 
okay let me open it 2024 okay so that is a proof that um our emails have been restored if you want to build your own web hosting business and compete with popular hosting providers like namecheap name hero bluehost godaddy watch this video next thank you for watching hoping to see you in that video